Hey everybody, Shag Dog Spitters Wild Beer Review. Going solo, of course, without Jammer. Uh, Jammer is a wall again, folks. But tonight I'm doing something special, and he's not here for it. It's a local brew and brew pub um, called Zephyr Hills Brewing Company. Uh, this is a growler. They don't sell no bottles, cans, or anything at all. It's all in-house. But they do have growlers that they sell for five bucks. Glass growlers, uh, two different sizes. This is sixteen ounce. They sell a thir thirty-two ounce also. Supposedly has sixteen ounce. But uh, yeah, and this is their. Uh, they just put a tag on it right down. Dean Dairy Stout. It's a sweet milk stout beer. I get no score. Uh, supposedly it's seasonal rotating, but they have it all the time, but they could always pull it off and switch it with something else. They got about 20, I think they got about 22 beers on tap, and then they got about 10, eight or 10 ciders. I'm not sure how many ciders they have. I don't drink ciders, so I really didn't pay attention. But I bought two different kinds. So I bought the growler, cost five bucks for the bottle, and then the beer price, whatever the beer cost. So 10 bucks for two growlers. And then uh, the beer, I don't even want to tell you the price. The beer costs more than the bottle for sure. But the bottle lasts forever. If I get the damn thing open, I don't know how they seal it out there. Let's take that off first. That shit is tight, folks. Good, good guy. Uh, I'm thinking that's what you do if you got twisted off. Jesus Christ. Oh, there we go. Holy shit, it's got a lot of pressure. Oh. God, that was hard to get off. Now, I don't know if I... It comes off lopsided, too. Okay. Oh, okay. I was supposed to rip that off, I guess. I guess they seal it again, I guess, the next time. So I don't need to cap, I don't believe. Wow, it smells delicious. See if I can pour this this, this way. It's kind of awkward. I don't have to use two hands. Shit. They should put the hand on the middle. All right, and I'm going to pour a little bit for my friend. She doesn't want to do the review with me at all, but old country Trish, my roommate, she wants to try a little bit, so I poured her that much, but she's just going to come in and grab it here in a second. And, God, I hope I can put this cat back on. I might have to drink all this. I don't think I could put that cat back on. I'm not sure how they do that. Anyhow. There it is. Uh, it's 4.9% ABV also. And it's a sweet milk stout. Smells sweet. Alcoholic sweet. Smells with alcohol, coffee. Maybe some dark fruits. I don't know. A little bit of chocolate. Should be good. Uh, I had a, I didn't, haven't had this one yet, but then I went to to the place for the first time. I've been there for a couple of years now. I went there for the first time. I got a couple of the uh, what we call it, where they give you a couple of little cups. So I did like eight different beers they had. I didn't do this one. It was number twenty two. I was going through the numbers, so I never got to this one. So without further ado. A little more in there. Jammer could have been having some of this. I probably only do this video because the other beer I got is a little stronger. This one is 4.9. The other one I bought is like 7.8 or something. And that's a 16 ounce also. So I think I'll save that. I don't know how long you can save these growlers if anybody know. And they put the cap on a little rubber type thing on it. You know, they fill it from the draft into the bottle, seal it with a cap. I don't know if, how long that's good for. I should have asked him. I didn't even think about that. But uh yeah, nice little bottle, you know. If I get jammer with a string and a broomstick and I could use this and you know have a little hillbilly band, right? Uh, but I guess their model is also pure water, great beer at the bottom there. I don't know if you can see it. I don't put the pure water, great beer. Uh and I hope they're using Zephyr Hills because there is a water. 
Suffer Hills spring water or whatever. I'm not sure if it actually comes from a spring or not, but I know it's, that's pretty clean. Uh, but if they're using the city water, that's not clean. So I hope they're using Suffer Hills spring water somehow, which they might be. Because you can't say pure water, great beer, if they're using the city water. That shit ain't pure. Oh, but I don't know. If they hit, are using the city water, maybe they cleaned it up, you know, filtered it, osmosis, ultraviolet violet rays, all that kind of stuff. All right, let's go ahead and do this one. So we smelled it. The look is very dark. Can't see through that. Pretty black. Um, Now, the ABV is supposed, unless he put the tag in the wrong, no, because it's not hoppy. The other one's a, the other beer I got is a black IPA. This is definitely a stout, but it tastes alcohol -y for being only 4.9%. Kind of weird. So, alcohol's not mass very well at all, and it's only 4.9%. But not real strong, but maybe a little bit of the sweetness has a little alcohol taste to it. Not bad. I've had some better sweet stouts, but this I'm pleasant. When I went there the other day, I was actually surprised some of their beers. I was like, wow, these are pretty good. I tried like eight different kinds. <clears throat> of course, most of them were all dark beers, except for I did a red. The least one I liked was a Irish red ale that they had. But I did uh, almost all their dark ones, brown ale, porter, black IPA. Just about every dark beer you can think of, I did out of eight. And I didn't even do this, get to this one. So. It has a little bit of the sweetness. It's almost like an alcohol sweetness. I can't explain it. It's not like the... Uh, Maybe it's the milk sweetness with alcohol. I don't know. Sweet stout. Yeah, it's a sweet stout. Uh, it's not overwhelming with coffee or chocolate. There's a little hints of maybe some dark chocolate in there. A little bit of the coffee, but not major. It's pretty mild and easy to drink, actually. Except for the sweetness is a little, a little high with the alcohol sweetness. But it's not too bad. I think if they put some more chocolate coffee flavor in there, bring down that sweetness a little bit, probably get an A+. Plus. Uh, but what, for what it is, I mean, I'm sure, I don't know what kind of hops they use or anything, but uh, yeah, I'm going to give it a, a B plus, a B plus of a swallow. It, it's pretty good. I mean, it's not the most spectacular milk stout I ever had, but it's pretty decent. I'm really shocked that this, that alcohol is sweetie, it's only 4.9. It tastes like it'd be stronger, actually. Like, wow, how strong is this? What is this, a 6 or 7? It'd be like 4.9. I'm like, really? Because it tastes stronger than 4.9, so, which is really surprising to me. Because a lot of times I drink some stuff, and it's like, wow, this stuff don't taste that. Wow, what? 8%? And it's, it tastes like something that's like 5% or whatever. Yeah. But it's not bad. I'm gonna try to drink the whole thing, I think. See, see if there's anything I can talk about. Huh? Yeah, B plus and a swallow. Right, for those of you who don't know our spitter swallow scale drinkability, um, of course we do the A through F grade. We rarely give out, I think I've only given two or three Fs out. Yeah. Uh, a minus, B plus, you know, Plus minus B, so A, A minus, A plus, uh, you know, B plus, yeah. And then our spitter swallows grade is uh, most of our beers get a swallow. At the lowest, maybe three quarters of a swallow. Sometimes we'll give half a swallow 
or a spit or a double spit, but that's kind of rare because all beers are good. They just vary in goodness, but some of them are actually really, really bad. Not too many, though. Uh, but yeah, so spit, a double spit, half a spit, three quarters, and we'll call it like three quarters of a swallow. We jump from half spit, half spit, double spit. And then on the good side, it's probably three half a swallow, three quarters of a swallow, swallow. We usually give swallow, swallow and a quarter, swarter, or a swallow and a half, swap, and then you got a, a double swallow. It's really good. I think I've only given like two of those out, two or three. They don't they're not giving out, they're like the the little Oscar thing they call it. Yeah, whatever fuck that award's called. Tony's Oscar, 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 yeah. Yep. Yeah. Well, Jammer's not here. We're gonna put him up in the corner right now, though, because I could put baby up in corner. Uh, Jammer for this is gonna be his week off, so we would have been doing beer reviews this coming Friday in two days. He's going on a trip or something, or maybe he has to work. I don't know. Usually has something going on, and then uh, he was gonna do it Monday night, but he said he had to work or had something going on. I don't know. So no jammer probably for the next two weeks, maybe. Um, so he's not gonna have any del delicious beer, and I probably do the other one Friday night because that's strong. I don't think I. I mean, I probably could reseal this, but, you know, from coming from a tap straight to a bottle, I open it. It's pretty much going to be flat, I think, after a while. So I'm, I think I finished the whole thing. And I'm not going to be able to drink the other one because it's the same size, six, 16 ounce. Is that 16 or 32? Oh, wait, this is 30. This is supposed to be 32 ounces. That's 32 ounces? It looks kind of small, don't it? There's a – maybe. I don't know. It says I'm in a bottle, 32 ounces. Oh, okay. Supposedly 32 ounces. Yeah, I don't think I'd drink the other one, definitely. Save that one for Friday night. Uh, so hopefully I'll be good. I'll be like two, over two nights of being in the fridge. So it should be all right. Cause I got this cap that they put on there, and then they put this rubber. It's not like a screw cap, I don't think. Maybe it is a little bit. And then it, this like little black thing is like a rubber almost feels like. I can't rip it off, but. Yep. Dean Dairy Stout. Uh, Dean Dairy is actually a road here in town. So I don't know if they just named it after the road. I tried to look up information to see if there actually was a Dean. I know there's a Dean Food, which had their own dairy place, but that's out of some other state, Pennsylvania or something. So I didn't know if there possibly might have been a dairy on that farm back in the old days. I know there used to be orange gro groves. Wait, was that? No, that's a, down the other side, Coach Road. I don't know. It's tr all trailers and stuff down there now. On Dean Dairy Road, across the street from Dean Dairy and uh, State Road, no, not State Road, County Road 54. Uh, there's a place where they sell vegetables, like a little market where they sell vegetables and stuff, produce. Um, so nothing about a dairy, unless there was a dairy over there one time, way back in the day. Jammer might know more than me because I I've only been here so many years. But uh, it tastes stronger than it's supposed to be. Actually, Country Trish is going to try it. Tastes like vinegar. <laughs> I don't taste vinegar, but it tastes a sweet alcohol flavor. Like it was a sweet milk stout. If you want to dump the rest, you can. If you can, yeah, I'll you take it with you. I'm not going to drink it off. You might have COVID. 
She said it tastes like vinegar. I don't taste it at all, though. But she doesn't drink beer usually, so. Uh, what else were we talking about before Country Trish came in? Um, and the reason why I call her Country Trish is way back in the day. She used to be in a band called Trish in a Country Four. She was the lead singer. I was back in the late 70s, early 80s, and. I think they might have got together. It was a local band where I lived in upstate New York, but I think they got together one other time, 88. No, not 88. Summer of 87, probably. Former members of the band were at a campground, and we were at a campground, and they asked her to come on up for one last time. Oh, yeah. She used to have on tape some of her, you know, they, and they didn't have any of their own songs. I don't think it was just cover, cover band, country cover band, you know. I remember doing Harper Valley PTA and Rocky Top Tennessee. And for some reason, there are only two songs I remember. Really good though. Yeah. Ah, Jammer's missing out on this one. He's gonna miss out on the next one too. That one I'll be holding off for uh, Friday night. Probably I'll do that one. Yeah, it's gonna be a I have a hard time drinking a whole thirty-two ounce or something like this, and the next one's like seven point nine percent or some crazy crap. I didn't, good thing I didn't buy the 64 ounce because I got a 64 ounce bottle too. This is a 32. I thought it was 16. Don't look big 32, but I guess it must be 32 ounces, which is kind of weird to me because, you know, if you got a 32 ounce of malt liquor, it looks way bigger than this. Definitely taller. Maybe it's not as wide. I don't know. Hmm. I guess I could have waited until I finished my glass to fill it up again and see if it almost filled it. Because I only gave Country Trish like that much of a little glass. Um, not bad, though. Uh, Zephyr Hills Brewing Company, if you're ever in the area, try it. Maybe someday they'll get big and they'll be able to ship it out. Hmm. Country Trish gave it a thumbs down. We'll never have her on the beer review. <laughs> She'd probably give every beer a thumbs down. She'd probably be like P. Diddy and give it a patty whack and whatever the hell he used to do. Very good, though. Very good. B plus. B plus and a swallow. I think if it had a little bit more uh, milk sweet style, I mean, if you go by Beer Advocate, what they call a milk sweet style, uh, let's see here, or sweet milk style. Uh, sweet style, also referred to as a cream style or a milk style, is a black in color, malt sweetness, chocolate, and caramel should dominate the flavor profile and contribute to the aroma. Chocolate mostly, but yeah, malt sweetness. Uh, it also should have a low to medium, low roasted malt barley dried bitterness. A little bit. Milk sugar lactose lends the style more body. This beer does use lactose sugar, so people with an intolerance should probably avoid this. <laughs> yeah, avoid this style. Yeah, whole, whole country. Uh, I know country Trish drinks milk, so she should be all right. Yeah, pretty good beer. Pretty good. I did their uh, 
tell you call when they give you four beers and little cups. For some reason, I was calling them flights, but they're calling something else. Whatever the hell, beer shacks or whatever. Four cups. They had like a little thing. They do plastic cups now, I guess, because of COVID. So they got these little five ounce plastic cups, or I don't know how many ounces the cups are, but they're supposed to give you five ounces of beer, but they don't fill the cups all up, up all the way. So I hope the cups are seven, eight ounces, and then I fill them up to a point which is supposed to be five ounces. But anyhow, yeah, I did eight of those one night, and that's. I was probably planning on drinking one more. I was going to maybe order one of these. And then we left, you know, a couple of people I know. And we left and went to a bar, which I should have done. Because at that point, after drinking eight five-ounce cups of different stuff, and some of them were eight, nine, close to eight, close to 9% ABV. By the time I got to the other bar and started drinking, pounding down some light beer, probably about five or six. I was pretty hammered that night. So, in hindsight, I probably should have just stayed home and did beer reviews. Would have saved more money. Of course, this is pretty expensive, but I can't remember what I paid for the beer itself. But the growler was five bucks. I bought two growlers, and then with the two different beers, one was more than the other. The beer, so it came out total like. 31, 32, but you minus the 10 bucks for the growlers, $22 for two 32 ounce beers. That's it's quite pricey. But 32 ounces, that's almost three beers. So almost six beers. We'll say about five beers. 30, some $31 before the tip. Uh, that's six bucks a beer. That's, that's pricey to me. But, you know, people got to make a business, I guess. That's why you don't see too many poor, but maybe that's why they make it uh, pricey. They don't have any riffraffs in there, you know. There's a lot of riffraffs around, you know, that probably love to go in there and drink this if it was like $2 a glass instead of being like $6 a glass or whatever they charge for it. They keep the riffraffs out. Matter of fact, when I went in there today and bought this, so I was on my way home from work. I was like, you know what? I'm going to go in there and see if they do sell growlers because somebody told me they had growlers. And I went in there, and the guy, I was talking to the bartender. He was telling me which two beers I wanted. And the guy came up to me, goes, you want to sign this waiver? I'm like, a waiver for what? He goes, oh, we're doing a commercial. Are you? Oh, you're getting growlers? You're not staying? I'm like, no. He goes, oh, we're doing a commercial, so I, I need you to sign a waiver if you're going to stay here. You might be on camera. You know, you're all right. I was like, no, but if I knew about it, I probably would have stayed there, but I had a, a plain T-shirt on, hair was a mess. I would have planned for it if I knew it was going to be happening. Well, that's okay. I guess these two little girls out in the parking lot knew it was happening because they are like going in. Maybe there are two models that the film crew hired because there were two like Hispanic girls, but Two little hotties, young hotties that were going in like when I was leaving. They are already out in the parking lot when I got there. They were waiting for some reason to go in. Maybe they were hired to go there. Maybe they did hire a couple people to go there. Oh, we need some good-looking people. I should have stayed, though. I should have said, hey, I'm going to go get my get-up. I'll be back in a... Uh, 10 minutes, switch my shirt out. <laughs> and we got no viewers tonight because we only have 12 subscribers. Last time I checked, we had 12 subscribers. Let's look. Uh, I'll fill that back up here in a second. I still got to edit because we do these live videos and I try to edit them later. I edited about two, three, four of the videos me and Jammer did last time. But I didn't edit two or three of them, so I still got to edit two or three. And I don't know how many subscribers we have. Um, yeah, I still got. I think I still got to edit like a couple of those videos. That's cool. Um, subscribers. 
Oh, 12, still 12 subscribers. So, you know, tell your friends about us. We're back. You know, we had 7,000 subscribers before. So, I mean, our last couple of videos, God, we had 36 views, 35 views on our Hacker Shore one. Of course, 15, 14, 25, 22. Yeah. Our most popular video has 102 views. That was me doing a Guinness Extra Stout solo video. But that Jammer, Hacker Shore, and me and Jammer is in third place already on our new channel here with 35 views. So that's pretty cool. P. Diddy's not even, let's see where P. Diddy stands. Popular uploads. The first video that P. Diddy is in. I don't even know what the hell beer. Were we just drinking and bullshitting? Because it just says Shag Dog and Diddy is a spitter solid beer review. Must be it. <laughs> it's a 55 minute long video. Holy crap. I think I edited it too. I think it was two hours before that. But yeah, we got a. Uh, I don't know how many videos we got so far. Uh, let's see. Does it say how many? Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Times six is twelve. Seventy-two, seventy-three, seventy-four, seventy-five videos already. Pretty good, and I'm keeping it alive, and I've been in all 75 of them. <laughs> Let's see how many jammers have been in. Let's count them. Uh, jammer has been in one, two, three. I'm going through the whole list. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19. He wasn't in that one because he had a phone call. So I don't even think he shows up. I did the whole video without him. So he's on that one. So we're still at 19, 20, 21, 22. 23, 24. That's Diddy. Okay. Uh, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34. Surprisingly, 34 out of 75 videos he was in. I'm going to check this other one because I'm pretty sure he didn't show up. I've been waiting on Jammer for 15 minutes. He's on a phone call. I was like, I can't wait any longer. I said, you can catch up. Hopefully, you're not on the phone for another 15 minutes because that'll be 30 minutes total. And that'll be 15 minutes into this video. But you know, he can do it on his own, I guess. Uh, we're doing, I just opened it. Hey, he never did come back. We're doing we're a big we're store. I'm looking through, through the with, video. Uh, End of the video. Gulf Coast IPA. So 34 out of 75 minutes. Too bad Jammer was in front of me drinking it the damn beer. In front of me. I guess we lost Craig. Or Craig. All right, so 30, Jammer's in 34 of 75 videos. I'm in all 75. Diddy's in a few. I don't think Diddy's in too many, maybe 12. I don't know. But any, anyhow, I'm always looking for a third beer uh, special guest since Jammer can't be there all the time. Diddy can only do it on certain nights and the nights he can do it sometimes he's more concerned making pizzas because he likes to make pizzas on that, those nights. And he's like, ah, no, I don't want a couple of times. I don't want to do the beer review because I got to, you know, I got to make pizzas. I'm like, okay, dude. So here we are at 29 minutes. Oh, yeah, I almost filled the glass up the second time. So I guess it is 32 ounce glass bottle. Amazing. Like a pack 32 ounces of that thing. I guess maybe a malt liquor bottle is a little thinner. Maybe. Uh, you know, 32 ounce malt liquor. We don't get 40 ounces here in Florida, folks. We wish we did. The jammer really wants to do the 40 ounce challenge. 
Although he hasn't done the 32 ounce challenge in a while, so which he did easily. I can't do it. I can't chug down malt liquors, but Jammer can do it. So, uh, what else? Anything else going on? Uh, Jammer did. Uh, if you go to our any viewers, you know, you go to our beer review channel, our our YouTube channel. He did create a couple of channels, so we got a. Uh, It doesn't say anything about channels, so huh. Go back to home. Oh, okay. Wait, I thought we had channels on here. It's not showing now. Huh. Maybe Jammer took them off. I don't know. Ch you go to channels. This channel doesn't feature any other channels. Not ch a playlist. That's what I'm talking about. I'm on the wrong thing. Playlist. I thought playlist should show up, though, on our home page, right? Uh, what the hell is it called? Playlist. There should be a way to add playlists here. I don't know how, but anyhow, we got playlists. Uh, we got a whole bunch of playlists that Jammer created. Uh, IPA. It's all about them IPAs. Cream males. It's all about them cream males. Porters. It's all about them porters. Shag Dogs Top 10. When I do videos where I talk about top 10 stuff. Uh, there's one video there. Uh, Wednesday night beer fights. Oh, it was Wednesday night. I thought it was supposed to be Friday. We were thinking we had a Wednesday night and a Friday night beer fight, huh? Well, I don't remember doing two videos. Oh well. Uh, Shag Dog and Diddy. We got just one there, one video there. So he only added one to that. So I got to add the rest of Diddy's videos. I'd like to change that to. Special guest, because you know we never know. Eh, we'll keep Diddy on there. What the hell? Pilsner is all about the Pilsner shag. I, I, I told Jammer. Uh, to me, I mean that's great. He made a channel for each style of beer. IPA. It's all about the IPAs. Cream ale. It's all about the cream ales. I just, it's all about the cream ale. It's all about. It'd be just easier. IPAs. Cream ales. Or coming up with individual individual thing, IPAs, hoppy and delicious, cream ales, ooh, very creamy. Just something different, so it's all about them. It's all about them. But he didn't understand me. I'm like, yeah, I know it. it's, a, it's great. You made a channel for each beer style, but make the, make the playlist sound a little different. You got them all. I mean, I, he liked it. It's all about that. It's all about that. It's all about that. I just think it sounds too redundant myself. But anyhow, that's what he wanted, so that's why we're going to leave it like that. Uh, I have to go through some videos, though. I thought he did more. He's got Shag Dog and Diddy, but he only added one video, so I don't have to go through every video Diddy's in and add to that. But I'm not really too concerned about playlists for the styles and stuff, though. I'd rather have playlists when we have like a special Christmas, got a bunch of winter beers or Christmas beers or spring or summer or fall, Oktoberfest, whatever. Which we got to do a fall, Falltoberfest is what we call it. But I'll have to add those in. Uh, God, I wish I had another beer to do. I just don't want to drink that 32 ounce, man. I, I got to work in the morning. Although I could take tomorrow off if I want to, because that's the type of job I have. I can just do whatever I want. Yeah, I know, I know. Somebody's going to say that's white privilege, but it's not white privilege. There's a lot of people that work with me with a mul multiple nationalities. I even seen two Chinese guys do it the other day. So there's white, black, Chinese, probably Jewish, uh, I haven't seen too many Italians, although one guy looks Italian. So we'll say Italian, um, Hispanic, Filipino, a couple of Filipinos out there. Matter of fact, for white guys, I've only seen like two or three other white guys doing the job I do. The rest of them are all ethnic, different ethnic backgrounds. Yeah, I feel out of place. Not really out of place because most of them speak English, but a couple of times I went up, hey, hey, you do this? And 
trying to talk to a couple of them and they didn't speak English. I'm like, oh, how the hell you deliver to a customer if they got questions and stuff? Yeah. Guess you could pull up Google Translator or something, I guess. I don't know. But sometimes you got to call a customer or call, talk to the restaurant people. Yeah. But the great thing about our job with me and my fellow workers who are majority ethnic, different ethnic groups, uh, we could stop working anytime we want during the day. If you're scheduled for eight hours, you do this uh, block for eight hours, you decide after four hours, you know what? Either I made enough for today or, you know what? This is the worst day ever. I'm done working for today. You just go home. And then later on, like four hours later, you're like, you know what? I shouldn't have done that. Let me see if it's busy. And it's busy. I'm like, oh, let me, oh, well, let me do another hour, hour and a half. Go back out there, make some more money. Which I never do that usually, but if I had to, I would. But uh, great job. And that's when people had it. Now, the job that I have, there's no benefits or anything to it. But the only benefit is I can work pretty much anytime I want. I can quit working that day, any day, anytime I want. Uh, any other benefits? I think that's about it. But anyhow, just those two benefits, I it's really great. Now, I don't get vacation pay. I don't have any medical. don't have any, um, any other type of insurance. Uh, yeah, if I take a vacation, I'm not getting paid for it. But if I go somewhere on vacation, I could actually probably do my job there. You say, honey, going out for three hours. Be right back. Make you know, some money. I want to do that. Um, um, great beer, though. If you're ever in this area of Florida, try stop by there. A little north of Tampa, Zephyr Hills Brewing Company. Pretty good. They got a lot of small brewers like that around the area. Actually, some of them are pretty big where they actually like uh, – the one down by Plant City out there, uh, pretty good stuff. They do mostly ciders and wines, but they got some beers, and their beers are good. They used to be called something else, but they changed the name. Yeah. I don't see the beers out anywhere right now under the new name. Uh, about five, six months ago, I still saw the old the, some of the beers still at liquor stores under the old name. But I haven't seen anything under the new names, Keel Farms or whatever the heck it's called. Unless it's a cider. That's the only thing I've seen in the stores is a cider. So maybe they're cutting back on a beer. I don't know. I don't know why, because beer is the best thing in the world. Just saying. Beer is way better than cider. More complex, more complex than wine. But I see why they make wine and cider. A lot of women like that. It's easy to drink. There's only, only so many different styles, yeah. Beers, you just go on and on with the styles. There's probably a thousand different styles of beers or more. Right? You know, wine, we got 120 styles. I don't even know what the fuck wine has. Ciders. I mean, you can make a cider out of anything, right? That's what they do now, all the little cider specials. It used to be like just apple cider, but now they got watermelon cider and pumpkin cider and uh, elderberry cider. I'll have to edit this video down just a little bit because I'm at 38 minutes already. I'm not a fast drinker like Jammer. I like to take my time. Just like with my women, I'm a smooth and slow. Jammer's fast. It's a Capricorn. <clears throat> But really, the, the I love doing the beer review with Jammer. I can't wait. I think we're on. He, he doesn't like doing a split. You know, he's at his place. I'm here. 
it doesn't have the same feel. But I think the last couple of videos we did, that last sitting, we were on a little bit, like we were when we were together. So I think, uh, you know, we might get together. But the numbers are going back up. And the governor of Florida just opened restaurants can go back to 100% if they want. So now you can get penalized, arrested, or whatever for not wearing a mask. So even though some of the restaurants were saying you still got to wear a mask, and I think our county still has a mandate for masks. There's people going to restaurants saying, oh, you can't do nothing. The governor said you can't arrest me or find me. So, But the restaurants were still saying, well, that's fine. They're not going to arrest you or find you, but this is our restaurant. You need to leave. But a lot of, I see a lot of them are scared to say some people. Now, if I owned a restaurant or I was a waiter or whatever, I'd say, oh, sir, you need to put a mask on. I ain't put no fucking mask on. The governor said, I don't have to wear a mask. And I'm not going to get arrested or fined. Well, good. You're not going to get arrested or fined, but you need to leave the fucking restaurant. And what's really funny is the numbers went down on Monday, like 700, which is really low. That's low as it's been a long time. Or somewhere around there. But then today or, or yesterday, Tuesday or Wednesday, it went up to 3,500 again for the whole state, you know, but still. I think this virus will be around for a long time. Because Shag Dog said so. The Rock, Dwayne Johnson, uh, he, whatever the hell the celebrities say, what, you know, endorsed Biden and whatever her name is. So a bunch of dummies who are dummies and will do what The Rock says will vote, vote for Biden. Well, the, Biden, the Rock's vote for Biden, so I'm going to vote for Biden because The Rock is my favorite wrestler. He has been since I was 12 years old. Oh, speaking of wrestlers, and I didn't hear it until like two days ago, uh, surprisingly, uh, but Road Warrior Animal passed away. I believe he passed away on the 22nd. Let me double check that because I'm not really positive about that. I didn't hear about it until like two days ago on the 28th. He passed away. Uh, of course, Hawk, if you watch wrestling, the Road Warriors, Legion of Doom, Hawk passed away a few, quite a few years ago. Yeah, uh, Road Warrior Animal, Joseph Michael, uh, I can't pronounce his last real last name, Lara Nidius. Sounds a little Greek, huh? Passed away September 22nd, 2020. He was born 19 September 12, 19, so he just turned 60 years old. But I heard he had some kidney problems, liver problems. Of course, he probably doing drugs, a lot of drinking all his years. Yeah. A lot of drinking. Uh, yeah. A lot of wrestlers die when you're young, but you figure, man, not only steroid abuse back in those days, but alcohol, drug use. Now, of course, he lasted longer than Hawk. And uh, Hawk, I believe Hawk got right with God before he died. He became a boarding and Christian, I believe. And he died of a heart attack, though. So he, he died in 2003. That was almost 17 years ago. Uh, no, originally Hawk died of, you know, he had some problems, but I think it said death. Uh, that was Hegstrand. Uh, died October 19, 2003, early morning in home in Indian Rocks Beach, Florida. He was 46 years old. His friends said that his wife recently bought a condominium near the current home or packing her boxes the night before. He said he felt tired and went to take a nap. Now, this is Hawk back in 2003. When his wife checked on him at 1 a.m., he had died of a sudden heart attack. At the time of his death, Hawk and Animal were working on a book about their careers. Uh, Animal returned to WWE in mid-2005 and 
dedicated his entire run to Hegstrand, including his tag team victory with Heidenreich at the Great American Bash. So he tagged up with Heidenreich. I guess Heidenreich took Hawk's place. Now they're inducted to the Hall of Fame 2011. All right. Yeah, so that was Hawk. Uh, Hawk. An animal. Um, so let's see if it says anything about his death. It probably don't have all of it. Uh, And he's, I mean, he's a pretty good guy. I watched some of the videos he did on YouTube, but oh, oh. his son plays professional football, I believe, too. When it became born again Christians in 2001, uh, animal son James Lauren Nantius played linebacker for Ohio State University as a sophomore. James won the Bronco and the Nugget Cirque Trophy, giving the best defensive player in the country. And was a finalist for the Buckus Award, which he was awarded the best linebacker in the country in 2007. James won the Buckus Award. In 2007, James won the Buckus Award the next following year. In fact, Sports Illustrated made a joke about borrowing his father's shoulder pads and later did an interview with him that included a picture of him wearing them. He was drafted by the Rams in the second round of the 30th, as the 31st, fifth pick overall in 2009 NFL draft play for the Rams through the team's final season in St. Louis in 2015. Through the team, so he played with them from 2009 and 2015. Then he went to the Saints. Okay, that's all it says. I don't know if he still plays, or I mean, 11 years he might still be playing. How about we're talking about his dad? Uh, hmm. uh, death. Died of natural causes September 22nd, 20, age 60, at the Margaritaville Resort, formerly known as the Tantar Resort in Osage Beach, Missouri. So he lived in Missouri. Okay. Margaritaville Resort. They got a Margaritaville Resort in Missouri. Uh, uh, WWE released a statement regarding his death. Former Road Warriors manager Paul Ellering, along with numerous others, also paid tribute. So it's sad, and it's really sad. I didn't even hear about it until like fucking six days later. I, of course, I don't watch that much TV, so and I'm not on social media that much besides Facebook, so I didn't see anybody post anything about it. That's where I actually found it from. Was something that was it on Facebook? I can't remember. Maybe I came across it somehow. Anyhow, yeah, the Road Warriors are gone. But one of the greatest tag teams ever. Uh, they're not my favorite tag team. I mean, I remember when they came out. Really, the WWF back then was mostly on TV in the mid eighty, early mid eighties, and you heard about the World Wars because you know they had wrestling magazines or whatever, and it should have AWA or NWA on TV at that time in the early eighties. I think the mid or eighty six, eighty seven, you finally saw some NWA, which became the WCW on TV. I think at one time the AWA was on TV. Well, I forget what station for like one year or something. Because I remember the Ultimate Warrior was a Dinga Warrior. He was in the AWA. But, uh, yeah, I mean, one of the best, uh, you know, when you heard the Road Warriors, you're like, wow, those guys are badass. You know, when you're a little kid, you know, they're, they're the toughest tag team. But Sting was still trying to make it. And then Sting finally got pulled to the AWA or NWA. And then, of course, so I think Sting started getting more famous than the Ultimate War, but when the Ultimate War it became the Ultimate War, it came from the AWA to the WWF, became the Ultimate War. Got a little popular. Yeah, I like the Ultimate War. As a matter of fact, uh, the guy, whatever hell his name is, I, I think he's a good person too, at least in his later years when I saw some interviews with him. I, I thought he's a nice guy, yeah. Yeah. Usually some people get nice, even if they're assholes when they're younger. They get older sometimes. I realize, you know what? I was a fucking asshole. Yeah. 
But anyhow, this video has gone on for 54 minutes. I don't know what parts I'm going to cut out, but I'm going to have to cut something out. This is why you always need a friend to help you drink beer. You're done quicker. That's why Ronald Wright has a partner now. Uh, not, I'm not really saying that because Ronald Wright could drink the beer himself. Well, let's check around the ride out. Matter of fact, see what kind of videos he's got lately. If he's done it. I know he does some with his daughter. That's his daughter, I believe. And he does some videos for it. And he's got his liquor videos. He's got Bushmills versus Bushmills Red Bush, Black Velvet versus Crown Royal Bourbon Mash. Oh, let's see. These are all his most recent ones. Let's double check. Yeah, two with his daughter. Okay. He's back to soloing. I see his, uh, oh, he's got somebody else there. Well, I know he does his uh, Wild Card Wednesday. Oh, he got somebody else there with him. Who's that? Steel Reserve 2 on 1. Is that actual Steel Reserve? Oh, wait. Wait, is that Jay doing a beer review with that? Let's check that. Got it. Okay, yeah. Hello, folks. Louisiana Beer Reviews. I'm being joined live right now by the Pepper Trample, right? What's going on, everybody? John Anderson Pierre here in Louisiana. He called me, said he wanted to take a trip to Louisiana, and he had it. He made the trip. We had uh -huh. a little mishap on the way of a blown tire, having to stop. <laughs> so another uh, another person visit. All the right, new beer reviews. So he did, uh, looks like they did two beer reviews. Maybe they did more. I don't know if they did the uh, Canadian Crest Crown together or whatever. Maybe not. But uh, Ronald Wright does beer reviews with. Uh, Hello, Louisiana beer reviews. We're doing the Indian beer. You bought this in the international market. This I think his name is probably Raja. a big beer. Now, the Maharaja Premium Indian. Maharaja. Beer, Okay. Yeah, I hadn't seen that one yet. I saw some other ones they done together. I forget that guy's name now. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, they've done quite a few beer reviews together. <laughs> but <laughs> I watched them, and sometimes they totally disagree on some stuff. Um, so I don't know how, how long that partnership's going to last. They might last forever. But, uh, yeah. Ronald Wright's always been J Ronald Theory at J Theory at Louisiana Beer Review. It's been one of my favorite beer reviews since I started reviewing in uh, 2000, end of 2011. He's one of the first ones I watched, him and Joe D. Joe D was the other one. I don't watch too many Joe D videos now. Matter of fact, I know Joe, last time I watched Joe D, all he does is like um, beers. You know, beer, uh, hey, uh, share a beer. Hey, how beer. you guys doing, man? It's Joe D. All the time, we Joe B. Finally back Joe D. And hopefully better than we were at least um, 17 minutes Share a beer. Most, well, no, he did this. Okay, he does do some solo beer reviews. But a lot of times he's doing a share the bear. Share the bear. bear. Beer. God. I fucking hate that word. All those years I went to speech therapy when I was a kid, they helped. Beer, bear, bear. Uh, okay. Anywho. Now, someone told me, why the hell do you wear shades during the beer review? And they said, you know, if people can see your eyes. They can see how you feel and your feelings deep and beneath and how you really feel about the beer and stuff like that. And I was like, I've been doing this since 
because if you don't know, when me and Jeremy first started in 2011, we used to show the camera would be like right here in front of us, facing that way towards the beer and the glasses. We'd have the glasses up here, the beer bottles. We didn't show us. The beer was a star. Then people started complaining. And it was, it, actually, if we still had those videos, and I think Jammer might have some say, we could probably upload some of them. Some of those beer reviews were some of our best beer reviews. They were funny. We were kind of awkward because we didn't we're, we didn't know a lot of the terminology or whatever. You know, we were just new beer reviewers. So we did it that way for like a whole year, I think. Let's see, November 2011 to February 2013. So a year and like three months. That's how we did beer reviews. But during those last three months of doing it that way, people, or four or five months, people kept saying, hey, when are you going to show your face? You guys need to show your face, blah, blah, blah. So me and Jammer went and visited J Theory at Louisiana Beer Reviews ourselves back in February of February of 2013 or somewhere around there. It was like right after Mardi Gras. It wasn't during Mardi Gras. It was about a week or two after Mardi Gras. And we showed our faces for the first time. But at that time, Jammer worked in a security service and I worked in a law enforcement group. So we still don't want to show our faces. So we decided, well, we get these fancy 70s wigs or whatever and mustaches and shades. There we go. So when Jay showed up and we put those, I think, you know, he showed up and he saw our real faces. And we did at the, our hotel in New Orleans. And I said, all right, we're gonna meet you, we'll meet you downstairs. For the beer review, we did it outside by the pool, you know. And uh, we came down and we had our, our you know, wigs, mustaches on the shades. And he was like looking at us like, oh, you two guys are crazy. Because how are we going to do a beer review with him? He shows himself. We're going to be on the side. Yeah, that's right. Jay, yeah. So that's what we've been doing ever since. So you never see my eyes unless sometimes because the shades are dark, my eyes are getting a little bad, I guess, as I get older. I'll do that. That's usually about it. Or if I'm reading something on the computer, I'll be like, oh. You know, that's about it with my eyes. If you look into my eyes for too long, you'll see some really scary shit, people. I think Jammer would have loved his beer. He's probably sleeping right now because he's probably going to work in the morning. Uh, in case you don't know, Jammer is a secret agent or a secret, yeah, one of those type of people. So he usually has to be at work at like two in the morning, three in the morning, set up for special security details for dignitaries. And uh, no, I'm just playing. But he does work that early, though. Uh, he has a great job. Not anything bad about his job or his, his hours. Uh, he claims sometimes that he doesn't have a great job. He hates his job, but he really does have a great job. Nobody would be upset getting paid that much for doing as little work as Jammer does. Even though he's got crappy hours. But his work is minimal. You know, he's on Facebook half the time. Things that work. I think it's paid buku bucks for it. Uh, so anyhow, yeah. Sever Hills Brewing Company. Pure water, great taste. Try it. Oh, I got a little drop still in there. Got a little drop in there. Let's get that. Uh, so Friday night, I might do the other one I have by them. This one was 4.9% ABV. The other one's like 7.9% or something. I wish I had someone to split that with me. Maybe I see if Diddy will do beer. He's got his kids this weekend. I wish I could find someone to split that beer with me. Oh, well. I'm starting to wish that craft beers start selling their... You know, because I like doing multiple beer reviews in a row. 
I don't like doing one beer review or two beer reviews with one bottle or one can, regular size can. I like doing like eight or, I mean, Jammer got me used to it. He used to bring like freaking 18 beers. I'm like, we can't drink all that. Oh, yeah, we're splitting all of them. We'll be all right. Even though a couple of the beers were like 11%, whatever, yeah, mixing the stout with a Imperial IPA and mix it with a wheat beer and this kind of beer. Who knows what kind of cancers we're going to end up with. But, uh, damn, an hour and five minutes. I could just ramble on that. I only have Jammer with me. See all the talking I get out, though, when Jammer's not around? I did an hour and five minutes worth of talking. I'm going to have to edit this video. I'll be lucky if I get it down to... 50 minutes because there's such good shit in it. But uh, I guess I'll do it for this one. Shag Dog, Spare Swallow Beer Review, Sever Hills Brewing Company, Dean Dairy Stout, 4.9% ABV. I gave it a B plus and a swallow. Pretty good. It'll be a little bit better. But what can you do? It's pretty good, actually. I can't believe it's 4.9%. It tastes more alcohol than that. I wonder if there's a device I could stick in the beer. It says 4.9, but I could stick something in there. And, well, that's 5.3. Or that's 4.4. What are they talking about? Yeah. That'd be great. All right. We'll see you on the next one. Shag Dog. Keeping the dream alive. Spit or swallow beer in you. Flat out. Oh, God, I hope this video doesn't get banned. The damn loud-ass music. I'm in another room with the doors closed, but that's how loud that music is out there. And I got a copyright violation already because of something like that. Holy shit. I tell you. Oh, well. All right, let's do it, folks.